Hi, my name is Christy Athey. I teach third grade at Flintstone Elementary School, and today I'm going to model multiplication by building an array. Here's my problem for today. A dodgeball tournament has 12 teams. Each team has five players. How many players are there in all? The important information in this problem, I believe, is that I know I have 12 teams. Each team has five players. And there are some really important words at the end of this equation, and they are in all. When I see the words in all, that tells me I'm either going to add or I'm going to multiply. Since this problem is telling us we have 12 teams and each team consists of five players, I believe the most efficient way to solve this problem is to multiply. I need to solve the problem 12 times 5. I know that the commutative property states the order doesn't matter in multiplication, so I can solve the problem 5 times 12, or 5 groups of 12. I will use rods to represent tens, and I will use units to represent ones. I need to represent 12 five times. I will show you 12 using a rod and two units. Now I need to do that four more times for a total of five groups of 12. So there's one group of 12, two groups of 12, three groups of 12, four groups of 12, and our last and fifth group of 12. Count the 10 rods. There are one, two, three, four, five, four, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now I will count the unit blocks. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are my partial products. I will add them to find the total. Fifty plus ten equals sixty. There are sixty players in all. So now I can solve my problem. 12 times 5 equals 60, and of course I would remember to include the word players, 60 players.